guys welcome back to my channel I'm Jenny and here we got PK over here trying to climb on top of some jeans sniffing around like he does okay so today's video I'm actually going to be kind of reviewing and you'll notice i um, other than maybe some lip stuff and eye stuff and of course nail stuff which I need to redo these and of course repping repping some merch I was really excited to get this yesterday oh my gosh got a sweatshirt as well but it is currently being washed so i can't show it to you right now but i'll wear it in a future video and you'll see um so i follow several you know a bunch of different indie brands on my instagram and i was really excited to be able to try something from this one in particular um you may know this brand as OMFG Cosmetics, or I think they go by Oh My Friggin' God, or something like that, or Oh My Friggin' Gosh. I don't know. If I'm wrong the first time, please don't at me. I, I really have no idea. But this is basically, sorry, there's kind of a glare there from the ring light, but you can kind of see. And then, of course, right here. It's the same logo. This one, I actually um, am very excited to swatch. It's a loose pigment called Schmooze. Schmooze. And then, of course, and I haven't looked at this yet, but I know what it is. I just haven't looked at it since I received it yesterday. Um, but I'm very excited. Okay. So right here, we have this OMFG Cosmetics pressed highlight pressed highlighter and OMFG Kush. So I'm kind of excited here. But first, let me just say that this is not sponsored. I ordered this. No one sent this to me. Um, I just really, really enjoy getting to show off some indie brands every now and then. So um, usually you'll see me showing stuff like Jeffree Star, ColourPop, um, I have shown Bad Habit Beauty on here. Um, I'm trying to think. I haven't done a whole lot of videos lately, and that's because I've been, one, kind of mentally not into it. Two, I've been sick. Three, I've been huge, like, busy, momming, adulting, stuff like that. Um, and sometimes I just, I get lazy and I just don't want to right now. Like, if I'm not into it, I'm just not going to do it. So I'm trying to get back into it. It's December. I'm trying to get back in the mood. I'm trying to get everyone else in the Christmassy mood a little bit. Of course, I'm not Christmas decorating uh, in my room, obviously. But we have our tree up, so I'll, I'll show that at some point. <laughs> I'll show our little tabletop tree. All right, so let's get into the makeup before this becomes a really long video. Whoa. Okay, that's very beautiful. All right, are y'all ready to see this? I love the little heart imprints. And, of course, I saw what I was going to be getting before I got it. But I guess I didn't realize that it was going to come in a compact. Like, I thought it was just going to be a single pan, which would have been great. You know, I wouldn't have cared. And then, so I'm very extra thankful that it actually came in, like, in a compact. In this little cute mint green Polly Pocket looking compact. And I'm extra thankful that she not used one but two of these little cotton rounds to keep it nice and safe while in transport um I did wait a little while for this but now if you're not familiar from what I understand OMFG it's owned by one person and basically ran by one person if I'm mistaken she does have help every now and then but if you and I don't know this myself but if you own your own brand and you do everything yourself kind of like Jeffree Star, but he has employees that work for him, okay, right? And a lot of other brands do. So, I, you got to understand, when you order from indie brands, it can take a while. It can take a little time, and that's okay, you know? As long as you're not forgetting about it, and if, you know, say a month goes by, or three weeks go by, and you haven't gotten your order, there's nothing wrong with dropping a line and being like, hey, I'm just checking on the status of my order, can someone please help me? 
Now, I hear a lot of people say that companies will be extremely rude to them. Their customer service is nasty or something like that. Not this brand in particular, but, like, people will complain on social media uh, platforms that a certain brand or um, someone from a customer service team was extremely nasty to them. And I'm thinking, well, okay, how was your approach? You got to think about stuff like that. You know, I think whenever you're wanting to figure out the status of an order. Just sitting here and emailing customer service and saying, hey, where's my order? I mean, honestly, they're overwhelmed enough, okay? Like, I've placed three orders with Jeffree Star Cosmetics because, you know, free shipping, there was discounts, and I thought this is my one chance right now to get and stock up on a few things at discounted prices. Uh, so that's what I did. The hat is proof here. Um, but I have not once had, you know, tried to email the company yet and be like, hey, what's going on with my orders? Because I know they're backed up. I know they're overwhelmed, you know, but you also want to make sure that the people aren't forgetting about you. So, uh, my little rant here, not so much a rant, just some advice. If you're going to like get a hold of customer service for any brand whatsoever, uh, make sure that you are as respectable as you possibly can be. Um, that'll get you a lot further. All right, now on to the makeup, because I know that's why we're all here. So I'm going to do a finger swatch, and then I'm going to do a brush swatch on my cheek, because I don't have anything on right now. Uh, when I'm at work, I do minimal makeup, mostly eyes, lips, maybe a little bit of highlight every now and then, some concealer, my brows, you know, when they don't look terrible. Uh, right now, they just look like I've been working all day, but... Hopefully none of them rubbed off onto the hat because this is brand new. All right, so I'm going to grab my highlighter brush here that I always use. It's wet and wild, so we're going to have this ready. And uh, I'm going to do one cheek dry and the other cheek with setting sprays to wet the brush. So I've got my handy-dandy Pro Fix uh, Revolution oil control fixing spray that I use just to kind of test products because it's a lot cheaper than the all-nighter spray. And this works just as well when like I use Skin Frost or if I want to use Becca or Stila or someone like that to kind of get an all wet look kind of glow. All right, so first off, and I'm lightly pressing, and that was just a few like swirls around. Can you see that? Yeah, that's freaking gorgeous. All right, we're going to do swatch right here. Ooh, I'm getting excited about this. Like, I get excited about a Jeffree Star Skin Frost. And I haven't even tried Supreme Frost. Like, I tried Liquid Frost. I have a Liquid Frost here in Frozen Peach, I believe it is. You know, and granted, I haven't been using it as much lately, but... I usually gravitate towards his Peach Goddess Skin Frost, right? So that's what I use the most um, lately. So this right here, that is, that's perfection. Okay, it's very beautiful. Now, I want to kind of take my brush and just kind of blend it out on my hand. And it's very blendable. You can see a little bit. It's still a little where my fingerprint was, but it is blending out very nicely in person. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take dry brush, and I usually just take the ends here, tap off a little bit, because there is going to be a little bit of fallout, even for a pressed, shot, uh, pressed highlighter. Okay, this is going to be kind of weird because this is not technically my skin tone type of color, but I have been so excited. Ooh, I don't know what that is, cotton. Uh, I've been so excited to try this. She is beautiful. Okay, if you can see right here and I'll kind of change it up. There we go. Okay, so she pretty blinded. I love it. All right, and sometimes I'll just take a little bit right here. Ooh. I mean, I love that it's got like a gold green sheen to it, you know? Like I can see the goldness, but it's green. Like it's like a, I don't know. 
This is a very beautiful light green. I like this. All right, now we are going to take a little bit more. I gotta find a place to set this down and I'm going to wet the brush as you can see here. I usually only need one spray. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can see right here. That's wet and that is dry. It's nearly the same, but with wet, it's very, very reflective. I'm going to be going to the laundry room, just sparkling. Someone's going to be blind. I like this. They're going to be like, what happened to your face? You are glowy. I'm not even wearing foundation on my face, but I just had to kind of like... Okay, so here is blended out dry on the bare skin. If you wanted to use like some right here on your decollete or decolletage, I think it's decollete. I've met my whole life thinking it was decolletage and it's actually decollete, I guess. I don't know. I could be wrong there. All right, so that pretty much concludes the highlighter part of the video here. Now we've got this loose pigment here. All right. Uh, I got one clean finger right here that doesn't have like stuff on it. All right. I'm trying to shake it off because this is all literally loose, <laughs> glittery pigments. Sorry. My, I need a bigger bookshelf. All right. So here is right here. Ah, right here is the loose pigment right on this finger. Sorry. I'm just like, psh. all right, here's the loose pigment. It's got kind of a copper penny tone to it. We're going to just, I guess I'm going to just show it right here on the side of my hand. It's very smooth. It's kind of sheer as well. So it basically looks like a penny, a penny shade. I like it. I was very grateful because I don't have very many loose shadows. I will say this. Um, I don't know if I should say. I did pay for the highlighter, but when I got my package, and I don't know if anyone else that ordered from them received this or um, people that were their orders were taking a while and I guess it was just kind of like, um, hey, here's to say thank you for your patience. You know, it, it takes a lot of work to make cosmetics. I can only imagine. I haven't had to do it myself, but it's not like going in the kitchen and making some chicken soup, which is what I just did. <laughs> I've been sitting here doing laundry, making soup, eating dinner, and I thought I'll quickly film this video. But this is, I mean, I didn't technically order this. This was like a bonus. So... If you think about wanting to purchase this, I think it would be very pretty. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to dab it right here just to see the effect. And it gives it kind of like, I don't know if you can see. Ah, too much. But, I mean, it gives it kind of a rosy glow, I think. I mean, it's pretty exciting. Like, I would use it just to give myself a rosy little glow. You can hopefully use this on the eyes. I'm not quite sure. It just says loose pigments. Um, I will have to research this. Um, but I'm going to go with it should be eye safe, I would think. Um, if it's not, then I pretty apologize. I'm not saying definitely put it on your eye, but if you're comfortable with putting it around like the middle of your eye like for a little bit of extra glow why not it's a loose pigment so I'm gonna go with maybe not in the immediate eye area like you're definitely not your waterline um but I don't think it's gonna be a skin staining type thing it's definitely sparkly it looks like I crushed a penny and just turned it into cosmetics 
All right, that concludes this video because we're already going into 15 minutes. My next video, I will be showing hopefully some Jeffree Star merch. If not, um, I will say I did get the palette. And I'm very excited about it, especially the shade Moon Rock. Moon Rocks. Moon Rock, Martian Soil, uh, Alien, and Probe have been my favorite tones to use. And I really do like, what is it? Space Cowboy. I like that one as well. Um, I'll try and do a look with that. What I'm wearing on my eyes today, though, is this Bad Habit Beauty Pretty Poison. Woo! Forgot the thingy was in there. Um, I'm wearing this today, and hopefully I can find the time to do, like, two different looks, one on each eye. And um, right now I'm just kind of wearing mostly purple up here with a little bit of the nectar, which is like this angelic-looking white sparkly, you know, uh, iridescent ethereal shade. And then um, uh, Lovesick, which is that kind of magenta I also added, you know, my own eyeliner to it, Kush mascara, stuff like that. All right, this video is getting long, so I'm going to go ahead and say bye. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for what's next because I've got more coming. I've got more stuff coming. Uh, I think my next video, actually, I'm going to show what I got off Mercari because I usually sell some stuff on Mercari, but I've never bought anything before. So I've recently made two purchases. One of them was a cosmetic purchase. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of save these for the next video. Bye. Say bye, PK. Where is he? He's over there hiding. He's hiding on my pillow. Bye, PK. Bye, guys. Uh, love you so much. Please subscribe and hit the bell. See ya.